Hello everybody. We're back out again today on uh, kind of a back road. Well, it used to be. It's all built up now. I am in Centerville, Kentucky, which is just outside of Louisville, Kentucky, at the Mount Tabor Methodist Church Cemetery. Uh, it's a very old cemetery. However, it is still in use. It's not all that big, but uh, standing kind of in the middle of it, so you can get an idea of about how big it is. That's where we started filming, right there. There are a few famous people here. Uh, depending on your area of interest, they are related to one another. And I'm gonna go show you their graves. One is a uh, Civil War Brigadier General, and the other is a famous Hollywood director. Both of which are controversial topics. Uh, as a Civil War commander, uh, Brigadier General Griffith was a Confederate Brigadier General, and uh, he was present when the war ended, May 10th, 1865, when, uh, uh, when Jefferson Davis was finally captured at Irwinville, Georgia, which more or less ended all the resistance, at least uh, the majority of it. So here's his grave, he and his wife. This is uh, Colonel Jacob Wart Griffith, Griffith, yeah, and his wife, Mary P. Oglesby. Now he died in 1885, but if you read this stone, we'll take the time to pause it. It does say that he died later as a result of the wounds that he had suffered during the war. So he is, uh, he is buried here along with several of his children off to each side or a few of his, uh, children. Let's go see them. Here's the other side of his stone. All right, well, let's go over here to his rather famous son. The reason his son is famous is very controversial. Uh, D.W. Griffith, David Wark Griffith, Griffith, was a producer and director of silent movies mostly. He had over 500 silent movies that he made uh, in the early 1900s. But the most controversial and the most successful film that he had was also an extremely racist film called The Birth of a Nation. And The Birth of a Nation depicted uh, the Ku Klux Klan as a rising heroic group that would save all of the white folks from the horde of unruly blacks that were recently freed. And uh, it's a horrible idea, horrible idea for a film, but he did it and it was still, even when adjusted for inflation, one of the largest grossing films of all time. David Wart uh, Griffith, D.W. Griffith, as he was known, uh, was one of the founders of United Artists which is still around today, if I am correct. Um, he was a powerhouse in early Hollywood. And a lot of film critics uh, look at his works as a whole as uh, just a genius uh, collection of work. You can see people still visit here today. They leave coins and... I don't know, it looks like a stone of some sort there. Just, I guess, say, hey, I was here. Now, uh, in The Birth of a Nation, who's very sympathetic to the Confederate cause, and probably a lot of that was because his father had uh, been a very faithful soldier in the Confederate Army and uh, was very active in the Kentucky state government after his time in the Army uh, until he passed away. But he, rep he worked in the uh, Kentucky House of Representatives for, for many years. He did two terms there uh, before he passed away. But uh, this is D.W. Griffith's tomb. Grave, I guess.
Oddly, uh, he was buried here in 1948 after he died, and everything around him is new. All the rest of these stones start in the 70s and uh, the 90s. So he sat here by himself for quite some time. Years ago, there was a little fence around this, this grave, and uh, there is no one directly on either side of him. There's a little bit of room around here. He was kind of off by himself. He didn't have a marker until the 1950s. I don't know exactly why. I was unable to find out if he just didn't have the money. Um, when he died, he was living alone in a hotel in Hollywood, California. And he died of a cerebral hemorrhage. Uh, he was found unconscious in the lobby of the hotel that he was living in. But uh, a group of film enthusiasts paid for this stone and this uh, bronze marker on the front of his stone. And also there's a marker out by the street out front of here, a uh, historic marker that tells a little bit about his, his uh, story. Anyway, this is, uh, again, this is the Mount Tabor Methodist Cemetery. I hope you enjoyed the story. And as always, have a great day.